Join us for this week's On the Conservation Front as we dive deeper into critical water issues facing the state. Florida Sportsman has been leading the fight on the conservation front lines for over 50 years. Biosol is a nice term for treated human waste. Let's join St. John's Riverkeeper Lisa Ryman to discuss how biosolid runoff harms the St. John's River. Lisa, as St. John's Riverkeeper, you have a huge watershed to monitor from here on Blue Cypress Lake all the way to the mouth of the river at Jacksonville. What's the overall health of this watershed right now? Well, the good news is we've made progress and we've seen a reduction of some pollutants, especially with point sources or big pipes. The bad news is we're seeing new sources of pollution and that's leading to toxic algae outbreaks in about a hundred mile section of the St. John's River. You mentioned new inputs and we're talking about treated human waste, biosolids. Are they triggering cyanobacteria blooms right now along with the other inputs? Yes, you know, we have inputs from fertilizers, from urban areas, from agriculture, septic tanks, wastewater treatment facilities, industry, but the land disposal of sewage sludge is the newest source, and we're seeing an increase in phosphorus of more than 50% in some parts of the river, which is triggering these outbreaks. Is it assumed, or are there water quality data that shows that the application of biosolids caused the cyanobacteria bloom here on Blue Cypress Lake. What we're seeing is elevated phosphorus levels throughout the entire St. John's River. They're highly spiked here in the headwaters and the types of algae we're seeing, they're fueled by phosphorus. So we believe there's a strong correlation of data showing the link to sewage sludge disposal here in the headwaters. Is it fair to say that the application of treated human waste exceeds the nutrient input from bad septic systems, sewage spills, and possibly commercial residential fertilizer use? It's fair to say that the importing of South Florida sewage sludge to the St. Johns River watershed is a major new source of nutrient pollution. And we're seeing an increase in phosphorus, particularly up by 50% before they were applying it on the land in these areas. Uh, are you in favor of banning the use of biosolids altogether, or is it possible it has to go somewhere? So is it possible to control its use, uh, be more responsible about the application near water bodies? Yeah, it's in a perfect world, yes, I would be for banning of biosolids. It was banned in South Florida due to the water quality impact it was having. And so we need to have a sustainable solution. But you're right, it has to go somewhere. And we don't want it just to be relocated from our river to another. So we have to figure out a sustainable long-term solution and we have to better protect our waterways. The St. John's drainage basin sees water shortages in dry times like other estuaries in Florida. Um, is it possible to use recycled wastewater to recharge an ecosystem like the St. John's? The use of recycled wastewater or reclaimed water is definitely an opportunity to conserve water and quit using our groundwater on our yards. But unfortunately, we're seeing more and more evidence that there's high nutrient pollution runoff from the use of reclaimed water as well. So we have to have a holistic solution, not only on water conservation, but protecting our waterways from nutrient pollution that's fueling these toxic algae outbreaks. Governor DeSantis just appointed a Blue-Green Algae Task Force. Are you confident this kind of effort will help you turn a corner for the St. John's? I believe it's a great first step to have scientists look at what's going on. And so we're meeting with the task force and we encourage those out there to go to stjohnsriverkeeper.org to find out how they can be involved. Lisa, millions of Florida residents and visitors love the St. John's for fishing and other activities. How can they help you preserve this river? Well, we can all be more river friendly and keep our own pollution out as well as conserve water. And then also, everyone that values the St. John's, if they could reach out to their elected officials and ask them to stop pollution at its source. 